what tools do you provide your new painters on day one? I'm gonna share what we provide, why we provide them, and that one thing that everybody gets that's different that makes everything good on the job. I'm Ron Ramsen, a DYB coach, also painting contractor up here in New England. We hire a lot of newbie greenhorn painters. These are painters that have never painted before professionally in their life. And unfortunately, they don't have many tools. Tools being brushes and all the other assorted things they need. And I don't want them running out to the store buying a bunch of things that they don't need or they're really not the kind that we use as a professional painter. Because you know and I know they're going in and buying the three pack of brushes and we don't want them to do that. And secondly, the painters pro that new B painter is probably not gonna be painting for quite a while. They might not know it, you might explain it, but when they hear painter, they're gonna stop painting a room on day one. So I'm gonna share with you what we provide them. Some of these are new, some of them are used. We don't always provide brand new tools. And one reason is, is sometimes they don't last more than a day or two. So anyways, first thing first, we give everybody their own plastic buckets. How simple this may be, they all get their own plastic bucket. And we do use inserts. This one just happens to be laying around the shop. That's why I grabbed this. So plastic bucket. We also give everybody a ladder hook. This is the bucket hook to hang on the ladder. Everybody receives these. We buy these by the multis uh, through Sherwin-Williams and Benjamin Moore. Always have a bunch in the shop. So we grab one of these, hook it to the bucket. This is theirs. Now one thing, if they decide to leave, we let them know. We expect this, all these tools back. Uh, if they're going to leave within the first couple of weeks, we're going to expect what we've given them back. This is not a gift. It's a gift if they decide to stay. Okay, what else do we give them? Well, of course, we give them a roll of handle. We give them a decent roll of handle. We'll stick that in the bucket. We also give them a couple grids. We tell them these aren't throwaways. We actually you reuse these. You can rinse them off and use them over and over. But we like to have two on a job uh, just in case one's wet with one color, they'll have another one. So we provide them a couple of those. What else? We give them a tool to clean their brushes, a small wire brush. We give them one of these. Uh, we always throw a roll or two of tape and we have cases of these in the shop. We don't want him to be him or her to be looking for tape on the job. Obviously, this is something we're going to replace quite often. We go through a lot of blue tape. What else do we provide? Well, some people like to wear masks, obviously for safety concerns, and other ones, especially the older painters, don't wear them all the time. But we do provide them a mask. This is their mask, actually, this is a two-pack. Uh, this is for sanding and painting. These are a must for some people, other people don't, but we'd like to have, give them the option of wearing these or not. What else do we provide? We provide a really good dripless caulking gun. Uh, we buy these at Sherwin-Williams Super Sales to get them on a super, super deal. We buy these by the case. Always have some in the shop. So we give them a quality, quality caulking gun. So we're giving them those. What else are we giving to them? We're giving them throwing a sand and sponge or two inside their little kit. We give them a small putty knife. This is actually kind of a throwaway. It's a cheap beef, uh, but we give it to them anyway so they have it. We give them a five-in-one, uh, which I don't have right here. I couldn't find one in my shop, believe it or not. But we also give them a, an opener. Those, we don't know where we got them, but we have hundreds of those. We always throw, throw a few clean rags in there so they know they should have a clean rag. What else? We buy small, we call them whizzy rollers, hot dog rollers, whatever you call. We always throw these in the package also. So we're giving them a kind of like a sampling of a little bit of everything. We give them an old brush that's been laying around, a dust brush. Uh, these, they don't know, they might even want to try to use, use this for painting, but we want to show them what a dust brush is, uh, what we use it for. So if they have their own, they have their own. What else? We give them some throwaway chip brushes. Everybody has these, the trucks have whole boxes of these in this, but we like them to have their own. Uh, and we don't expect them to last. We let them know this is for those little touch-ups, this kind of oddball things. Get them dirty, throw them out, don't clean them. We also give them a couple premium paint brushes. Uh, this one is just kind of a run of a mill, decent paint brush. Everybody likes a different paint brush. There's different paint brushes for different applications. And we don't want to pigeonhole them to using one paint brush because a lot of times we'll find them on the job. Uh, someone else, when they're ready to paint, uh, we'll be using something. Maybe they're using a Picasso. Maybe you're using, uh, you know, a Purdy, whatever they may be using. 
sometimes the other guys will let them try it to try out the new new paintbrush and, and they fall in love with a certain type. I am not one to mandate they use a certain paintbrush, latex for latex, oil for oil, obviously. But I'm not going to say you have to use Purdy. Everybody has their own uh, own preference of paint. So, But what our biggest thing is, is we provide this, and it's different for every single one of our painters. We provide waterproof electrical tape. Uh, this one right here, no one's actually using this color yet. We buy these at Home Depot. If you go to the electrical aisle, there is a row of probably 15 different colors. Some of the guys even have ones with Batman on them. There's Superman on them. Those get in specialty stores. But these right here, they're able to wrap these around everything that I've given them. Not the throwaway chip brushes, but the bucket handle, the hook, the caulking gun, the brushes, anything of value we want them to put their color on this and the reason is is when we have anywhere between two to eight painters on one job they look down at a bucket or they look down at a brush they know it's theirs we don't want them taking things out and sometimes painters will borrow something from someone else's work bag and we want to make sure that goes back in we don't want those little arguments those little uh you know change the mood of the job uh, when someone borrows a tool and doesn't put it back or actually it ends up into their tool bag. So this is the key, is providing everybody with a $2.50 or whatever these are, colored waterproof electrical tape and have them wrap everything in it. You'll, and also, you'll notice I didn't give them a work bag. We do have work bags. I have used work bags behind me. I have empty bags over here, over there. We don't provide them one of them yet because they really don't need it. They can put everything in this bucket. If they want to invest in their future, and we're hoping they do, they're going to go out to Home Depot or such and pick out one of their bags. Uh, if we find they need a bag and they can't afford it because that happens, we'll provide them with one of our bags. They can keep them down the road if they decide to stay with us. But anyways, we do give them pro uh, we do give them tools. I wanted to show you that. So just a recap, we got dust brushes, we got chip brushes. We always throw you know things they got to use on the job. So I, I noticed I also didn't give them any caulking because we use so many different kinds of caulking. I didn't want to pigeonhole in or have them using the wrong caulking for the wrong thing because that was what they were provided. Uh, the little whizzy rollers. We always give them a couple rags. We give them a mask. We give them grids, a sanding block. We give them them a small wire brush to clean. We give them a putty knife. We give them a really good caulking gun. We give them a quality roller. We also throw in roll of tape because they're going to use it. And obviously, you're not going to label the tape with tape to put it on. But they do have we have bucket. We also have a bucket hook. And of course, we have some paint brushes. So that is what we provide for our painters. Uh, it's an investment in us. It's not a lot of money, but we're investing in them for hopefully them to stay on the team, feel like they're part of the team, and also make the company money in the long run. Anyways, I'd love to hear what you provide your uh, painters. Uh, please share it in the comment line. I'd love to hear it. You can also reach out to me at ron at dybcoach.com. That's ron at dybcoach.com. Find me on Facebook. Many of you do. I'd love to chat with you. Once again, Ron here, DYB Coach, painting contractor. These are the tools of the trade for the first day painter. Have a great day and happy painting. Thank <laughs> you.